Welcome dear students to a new week. In this week we will continue talking about the evolutionary classification for animals, what they what do they have in common and how is the the modern evolutionary classification uh, depends on. In our learning objective for this week we will talk about the goals of evolutionary class, uh, classification and we will describe cladogram, how do they classify animals on their cladogram based on how DNA sequences are used in this in this cl classification. Describe what the tree of life illustrates. So basically, when we talk about evolutionary classification, the goal of evolutionary classification is to group species into a larger categories that reflect lines of evolutionary uh, descent rather rather than overall similarities and differences. Mean to make them more more to clarify how do they uh, what do they have in common and how do they are related somehow more than how rather than only the DNA of how do they are similar or how do they are uh, do they look different. Cladogram, which is the most important um, classification, new classification to putting animals into the same ancestor. We always start with the first line, which is called the ancestor lineage, which is the first uh, line common ancestor. Then they will take to split it into, into two events. These two can be then uh, divided into other two or three characteristics. These two has the same characteristic of the first one, but do they have derived, uh, derived into a new characteristic? Until you reach to each one of them will have the same characteristic. Some will have sub characteristic than the others, and then we will have the uh, the, the last one to have with them all or to have none of them. When we talk about the de uh, derived char characters, mean that we they have characteristic in common, but that does not mean that they are derived from the same ancestor. They have claws, like in this picture, they have the same body uh, figures, maybe the same types of teeth, but they are not actually the same. But do they have characteristics in common? Interpreting a cladogram, cladogram to put animals, at, uh, types of animals based on some characteristics. So the line will detect a character that is that's in common with the coming animal. For limbs, having um, immunetic eggs, the type of hair, specializing she, uh, teeth types, and uh, if they have claws or not. Okay, so it does not have to be the same exact type, but cladogram means that the characters that found in the animals before. Okay. Traditional taxonomical group based on uh, what do they have in common and how do they are derived from a specific character. Now, uh, we include the DNA in the classification of having some characteristic with the same type of DNA, but not exactly the same typical characteristic for the DNA, as you can see in this. A uh, new technique suggestion that the new trees that have the same um, Mungkin phenotype, external look, but from inside the completely different, uh, different uh, structures or different gen genotypes, like you can see between all of these four, they completely different from each other, yet they de derived from the same characteristic. Okay. As you see. Now, in regard to the tree of life, you can also find these branches in bacteria, archaea, and eukaryotic cells. The others goes into other families. 